Hello and welcome back to my craft room. I've got some happy mail to open with you today. First of all, I, we're going to have to go into this first because it's the most exciting. Is um, This is from one of my uh, swapsters for the Great Big Little Stitchery Swap Round 4. This is from Linda Harrington. I've got my hand over her address because I just want to show that beautiful owl sticker which I'm going to have to try and retrieve. <laughs> So, um, actually, well, I'll probably just make it all part of the little book that I'll make to keep all my tags in for the swap this time. So I've got them. And then I've also got some threads that I've bought online. One quite expensive and one really stupidly cheap that I'm not holding out great hopes for. And I'm going to compare it quickly with the beautiful threads that Maggie Morris sent me last week. So we'll have a look at that after. So first of all, I have to get into this swap. Trusty letter opener that Jackie sent me. Get the envelope out of the way because it's got my address on one side and Linda's on the other. Love that owl. Okay, so if I can take it out without spoiling the surprise, I've left it upside down. Good, good, good. Okay, now I'm going to take you to the desk. It looks like it might be a handmade card. It's a big, fat, squishy bundle here. So for all, oh, let's um, let's come up so I can say hello. For anybody that doesn't know, this is the great big little stitchery swap where we swap either 10 centimetre squares or um, five by ten centimetre tags which is what most of us have gone for this time it's a new twist this time and there's an optional theme of celebration I don't think Linda and I have agreed a theme let me just check on my notes no we haven't agreed a theme at all so uh, but celebration can go so many different ways you can interpret that in all kinds of ways or just ignore the theme altogether it's only optional so I have a feeling Linda sent me more than just a tag here let's have a look at the card first Oh, how lovely look. A bee kind. A little bee stamp. That's beautiful. I'm a sucker for bees and pretty flowers. Oh, thank you. It's lovely getting these handmade cards. Right, okay. Oh, there's lots of goodies in here. Let me see if I can manage to look to read the note first. Make sure there's no address. There you go. Hello, Andy. Here is the tag I have made for you. I hope you like it. Oh, I bet I will. As a celebration of your kindness. Oh, it's got me nice. Always a point that gets me every time opening these. And how much you give to this community. I've added a piece of the fabric I used on the tag and a few small pieces of wool and handmade linen. Oh, how lovely. Oh, I can't speak for a minute now. <laughs> Your videos entertain, inform and motivate us, so thank you. That's pretty good to hear at the moment because I'm having a bit of a crisis of confidence about YouTube altogether at the minute. And I've got such a lot on my plate altogether, I'm questioning whether to keep going to be like, between you and me, Shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> so it's really nice to hear that. Oh. <laughs> AKA Spire Girl, Spire Girl, Spire Girl. <laughs> I don't know how you say that. That's what we know her as in our Discord community. So I'm going to keep myself in suspense and look at these beautiful pieces first. Look at this. I love this kind of thing because it's so begging to be stitched into, isn't it? Beautiful piece of linen. Really lovely, really lovely quality. Just gorgeous textures. Oh, look at these. Oh, yeah, look at the kiss and pimples coming out. <laughs> oh, these are yummy. Oh, fabulous linen with this kind of, do you call that drawn thread work? It looks like it's cut from a garment where the hem had been decorated with this drawn thread work. Oh, I've made my eyes sting now. <laughs> my eyes leak at the drop of a hat at the moment. <laughs> You know, there's times when you're feeling a bit fragile and the least little thing will set you off just like that. <laughs> Not that this is a little thing, this is a huge thing to me. These textures are gorgeous. Oh wow, there's loads here. Look, I can just put all these together into one beautiful collage and stitch into them. Oh, or make a bag or something. Oh yummy, yummy. Very tactile. Oh, I love these kind of fabrics oh I can't you can imagine how that feels can't you look at this it's all kind of wool tweed and yeah it's all it's all wool and linen did she say what it was yeah wool and, and handmade linen yeah I'm 
absolutely yummy. Oh, look at this. Oh, beautiful to stitch into. I think um, this will be incorporated into my into my book that I'm going to uh, make to to keep all my tags. And I'm just wondering if I could use these to make the cover of it. Lovely cosy cover. Mm. Oh, I made myself sniff and I didn't bring a tissue. Do you know, in the first, in the first couple of rounds of swaps, I always remember to have tissues next to me. <laughs> Cool, yummy. Now hang on, I don't want to. That's the back. I think this is the back side of the tag. No, it isn't. Oh, yes, it is. I think she's got pretty front and back. Look at this beautiful vintage lace. I'm stop myself looking at that for a minute. Wow. Oh, how gorgeous is that? It looks really old, doesn't it? It's got cherubs and angels in it fairies maybe it's beautiful I'm just thinking yeah I could oh, yum 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 okay now we're going to look at the actual star of the show we're going to go for the tag oh so this is that same fabric which Linda has stitched into the, the design that's there which is I love patterns on fabric like this that, that encourage you to do that give you always little spaces to stitch into I love doing this kind of thing so pretty but this, I think this is the back You've gone again, see I'm, yeah. <laughs> How pretty is that? Look at the little beaded embroidery there. Oh. She's added these little detached chain stitches into the, into the scallops of that pattern. Pretty little piece of lace with beads added into the details. Look at the owl charm. How adorable is that? Yay! <laughs> the crocodile, we're all, a lot of us are using the crocodile to put our tag eyelets in. That is beautiful, front and back. In fact, either side of those could work as a front to me. I think that's beautiful enough to be the front. But I think this is meant to be the front. Look how pretty this delicate little scallop lace here. Lots of straight stitching, always love that. Blanket stitch all around the outside so so pretty absolutely love it these are all going to look so nice I'm, I'm hoping to get one of those white branch trees that I can hang all these tags from for a few weeks over the Christmas period you know just have them hanging up in the background of, of on, on my table there and then um, excuse me sniffing <laughs> and then um, I'll make a little book to keep them all in along with the cards and things that is absolutely gorgeous Linda thank you I love it absolutely love it um it's a little treasure and I and these beautiful pieces of linen and wool and that lovely lace oh, I could do something very special with them I'm kind of seeing the the cover of a of a of a little slow stitched book to keep my keep my tags in yeah I kind of think that I've got I've got loads there I've got some other little pieces as well I could mix in so beautiful really really pretty the next thing I just wanted to look at is thread so I was very very lucky and got this beautiful little box of threads that Maggie Morris sent me last week a mixture of um, wonderful and anchor really really beautiful you can see how lovely how lovely I really really enjoy using them and I wanted to I've been looking around to buy some pearly threads because I know that's what Maggie uses to get all the lovely texture in her work but they're quite expensive to buy it was very kind of Maggie to send me some of those she said where she got duplicates, goods so or she wasn't going to use the colours but I mean I'm sure she would have used them in the end so it's very very kind of her to send them to me and the lovely box in, with, to keep them in as well but I've been looking around so I got some from um, AliExpress and this is meant to be a box of 12 
size 8, the same as Maggie uses, so the same as, as this wonderful one you see here. It's meant to be the same thing. It cost me just under three quid and normally these cost like three quid each. You, you might get them for a couple of quid if, if you get a bargain but you know they're expensive these threads. So I'm not holding out great hopes. I haven't even opened the box. I've just taken it out of the wrapper that it was in because I had my dress all over it. So I thought we'll open that up and look at that together and <laughs> you can either share my surprise delight or uh, disappointment. <laughs> and then I've also got this one which was other end of the spectrum I thought I'd just show you because I got this from eBay. This company called Montbleu on on eBay because I want to make up a couple of kits. Um, Sashiko kits for a couple of friends and uh, um, I thought I looked at the prices and it was cheaper to buy this one skein of 100 meters than to buy three small ones. I wanted to make up three altogether. Um, so I bought this one, but it was £15.50. I was kind of picturing it as being bigger than this because it's 100 metres. And when this arrived, I thought, oh, £15.50. But I thought, let's have a look and see what it's like. It feels, oh, it's slightly, I feel if it's slightly uh, set my teeth on edge. I don't know what it is. It's cotton, beautiful, variegated. They had, you could have blue and white or plain blue or plain white or this variegated blue, which I thought was so beautiful. I love the label. It's uh, it's proper 100% cotton sashiko thread it's lovely I love that that's handwritten on there um yeah so my idea is that I will split this between in, into three and I hope I end up with three kind of you know which, which have all got this <laughs> plenty of var variegation I just think they're so beautiful it like, reminds me of faded denim so yeah, very, very happy with them. I feel slightly, oh, there's something about the feel of it that I'm not quite liking. But I don't think you'll even notice that when you're sewing with it. Well, I think that will look lovely. Okay, so that's that. I just thought I'd quickly show you in case you're interested. But this is the one that I'm most intrigued about, really. As I say, not holding out great hopes. <laughs> Brace myself. Okay, it's a nice box. If you were to go on to AliExpress and look for this, so this was 2 dollars I think it was, just under three quid, including free postage to the UK. It got to me within a week. I noticed that there were others that looked like they were going to be that price as well, but when I put them in my shopping basket, suddenly the price went up to twice as much or whatever. It's still a lot cheaper, but I, I, I don't mind risking three quid, but I don't want to risk... 10 quid you know if you do go to add any of these be careful before you check out that it hasn't somehow changed the price they also add tax on afterwards and stuff so just watch out but you know if this is okay it's still going to be a bargain very nicely packaged let thread be art nice if these are all right i'm going to go on and order some more straight away Let's see if Maggie wants me to get any colours for her. Mm, it's not looking bad. I love that. So the Let's Thread Be Art it carries on the whole way through. And they had lots of little sets of different, you know, you could get all shades of green, or all shades of pink or whatever, and um, like dark colours and light colours and neutral colours, all kinds of different sets. Mm, looking okay. So they're supposed to be... It's got it in yards down there, look. Uh, 43 yards. Let's have a look at one of these to compare. I don't know how much you get on these. Oh, look. I wonder if Maggie knew that was in there. Look. A little wrapped ring. I'll put that in my Millifiori bag. Um, so I don't know how much it's meant to be on these. It says 100% Egyptian cotton, double gaster mercerised. Nothing is telling me how much is on there. It says five grams. Have we got a weight on these? Yes, five grams. So this is meant to be the same amount. It doesn't look like the same amount, does it? Is it the same thickness? It feels... 
just trying to compare. It feels nice. So I'm um, close up. Let's compare that to. Let's put them. I put them both together. So the the purple, the kind of lilac-y color is the wonderful, and the orange is the cheapskate. They look very similar, don't they? Um, I'm kind of thinking that unless this is a real rip off, and they really, and it's a complete lie, and they really isn't the same amount on here. I'm very impressed with these for less than three quid for all 12. That's nuts. I'm almost positive you will not get the, I mean, when I feel like that, that does feel lovely. Honestly, for the difference in price, <clears throat> is it that different? Um, I'm going to have a look at some of the other sets, I think, and see what other colours they will see if I can, you know, sometimes I, I, I wonder with these companies if there's a bit of a sprat to catch a mackerel, you know, you get one set for under three quid and then it got you hooked and you'll end up paying ten quid for a set and that's not such a bargain. Although even then it would still be less than a pound a ball. Um, so, hmm, yeah, Maggie, if you're watching, let me know what you think. I can send you some back in return. <laughs> I mean, these are so if these this is meant to be five grams and five grams. That's a new ball. This is a new ball. This definitely is bigger, isn't it? It says it weighs the same. Oh no, this one says ten gram on here. That's ten gram. This is five gram, so it's half the amount. Well, that makes more sense. One of them that I picked up said five gram, though, didn't it? Yeah, that one said five gram. Iced, and I think if you want to get a good range of colours in and you can't afford to splurge all at once because it takes a while to build up a collection like this, doesn't it? <clears throat> and you want to just like build up your stash really quickly, get a lot of different colours. This is a pretty good option. So, um, that's my little purchases. I do love to start the day with a bit of happy mail, <laughs> sets the whole day off right. <laughs> Thank you very much again to Linda for sending that beautiful tag and the extra bits and pieces. I'm going to love, I'm going to really, really enjoy using those. Been a bit snowed under lately with all sorts going on, but I'm I'm on the case now. I'm hoping to start getting people's tags going out soon. I've sent the first lot out and then I've stalled. I will definitely be there in time for the deadline, but uh, yeah, I hope it won't be too long before I get, get yours off to you, Linda. Thanks very much again. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed that little peek and I'll see you again really soon.